What's up team kids? Welcome to the weekend preview video for Halloween weekend. Couldn't figure out what I was going to go as, so I decided to be three Avengers in one. Captain Iron Hulk. Here we go. So this week's lesson is a one week throwback lesson from a series that we did over two years ago now called Scary Stuff. And as you can imagine, Halloween, which is coming up in just a couple of days, represents a lot of different things culturally. But one of the things that it forces us to engage with, and specifically kids, is the reality of fear in us and all around us. The main theme, as you can imagine, is fear, but not just fear in, in and of itself, but understanding the value that fear plays in our life and as an opportunity to exercise courage. The goal of this week's lesson is to provide kids with a different perspective on fear and to have them interact with a reality, the presence of God being that reality, that is bigger than anything real or imagined in our lives. So let's take a moment to see what this will look like in our small group times as we teach through this lesson this weekend. For small group this week, the discussion questions are designed to, for you to help kids understand and begin the conversation around the difference between what a healthy fear is, something a fear that protects us, and an unhealthy fear, which is something that harms us and ultimately doesn't have a purpose in mind for it. And so the focus is on what the Bible has to say about where we go with our fear, good fears and unhealthy fears. Having this discussion first should be helpful because it will get the kids thinking about the presence of fear in their lives. What role does it play? And what are the things that trigger that fear? And to help them realize that the role of the presence of God is significant in helping to respond to that fear. For the activity this week, you're going to be um, you're going to have some dissolving paper and a bucket of water that you will use. And you'll use that dissolving paper um, for kids to kind of write or draw a picture of what their fears are. And then to place that piece of paper in the bucket and watch it as it dissolves away. And there's a little bit more clarity to, uh, to that if you read through the activity guide, which I'd encourage you to do. But the value and the importance is to communicate the truth from this week's Bible verse that declares, if we cast our cares or our fears on the Lord, he will sustain us. And to sustain us means that he can take on our struggles and not be overtaken by them. Rather, he overwhelms our fears. And over time, we'll begin to have more of a visibility of his presence, which would be represented by the water, and less of a visibility of our fears, which are represented by the paper. So, whether we experience total deliverance from our fears, that's not the goal. But knowing that God is with us in the midst of our fears, that's the truly great experience that we hope to communicate to kids through this time. So come 30 minutes prior to the service to discuss and to have this conversation as we, as we pray and as we think about what we can do to lead kids this weekend. And if you would desire, or if you feel compelled, come wearing a fun costume that might be a cool way to disarm and and uh, encourage kids to have fun and engage this weekend. I'll be wearing a costume, and you'll have to wait and see what it is. Trust me, it won't be my weird Avengers costume. All right, I'll talk to you guys this weekend, and uh, I'm excited to serve as we help kids find and follow Jesus. Bye!